answers about the apparent suicide of Jeffrey Epstein, one of the most high-profile inmates being held in a federal jail. NBC News has learned as part of the investigation into this incident, they want to know if guards conducted routine checks on inmates, including Epstein, as required. One major issue is whether the rules were followed in the housing unit where Epstein was confined and whether guards were checking on him every 30 minutes. Sources close to the investigation say Epstein underwent a psychiatric evaluation and they cleared him from suicide watch on or about July 29th, allowing him to return to his cell. While on suicide watch, Epstein would have been monitored every second. The bed would have been bolted down. His bed clothes would have been taken away. But once he was taken off suicide watch, he had clothing, he had a bed sheet, and there was ample opportunity, our sources say, for him to take his own life in that cell. Senior law enforcement officials tell NBC News that there is no sign of foul play. Meantime, the U.S. attorney in Manhattan will keep digging into Epstein's alleged sex trafficking operation. We know that that original indictment did include a conspiracy count, and it talked about people who worked for him and associates of his. So, so any of those folks who prosecutors have evidence against could become defendants in an ongoing case here. I think it's important for all of us to avoid rushing to judgment, to let the legal proceedings move forward. And that was Kathy Park reporting this morning. We're still waiting on the medical examiner to release the autopsy report that could reveal more details about Epstein's death.